Paddling TV is brought to you by Ex Officio and their Soul Cool collection of shirts, which not only wick moisture from the body and dry quickly, but are made with ice fill technology. Ex Officio's Soul Cool shirts actually dissipate heat and provide a cooling effect. Check them out at exofficio.com. Ask any fisherman what the most desired trophy fish in the world is, and amongst the common answers of billfish and giant bass, you'll also hear about the strange and wonderful tarpon. The tarpon is home in the warm coastal waters of the Central Atlantic Ocean. Nowhere in the world is this elusive topwater fish caught more than the saltwater flats of Mat Lachey, Florida. And no man knows these channels better by kayak than fly fisherman Greg Bowdish. Well, it's pronounced Mat Lachey, which is an Indian word meaning shallow waters. Mat Lachey itself was a community that was back, way back in the 50s. It was all based on mullet fishermen. Mullet fishermen themselves, what they did was they owned all these nets, these big long nets, dragged up all these fish. Government stepped in in 1992 and everybody got kicked out. All these fish shacks turn into little art galleries and restaurants just over the last few years. You can launch your kayak right here, uh, paddle around uh, part of the Mount Lache and pull up to a dock and uh, climb off, get a beer, listen to a band, get some food. There's a number of restaurants on the water, art galleries, um, bars. I mean, the, the whole world is kayak oriented. We are at the center of the kayak fishing universe for uh, Southwest Florida. This is the Sun and Moon Inn. <laughs> this place was created as a bed and breakfast that went out of business, and we turned it into the first bed and breakfast and fishing resort. This is a nutty, crazy place. There's pink and purple dogs running around and um, kayaks everywhere. I mean, this spot here that we're at here, the Sun and Moon Inn, and just I mean, what more could you ask for? Just beautiful scenery. We've got a beautiful sunset going down right now. Very low key, very relaxed atmosphere. It's, it's a neat little place. We're going to drive down to uh, a little place and put in with the kayaks. Um, I think we're okay breaking the trailer, so we should all be able to bring, you know, we should bring a lot of boats. The first few days seem long and painful. The season in Mat Lache has been strangely cool, pushing the tarpon off the flats and far off the coastline, making it hard for the kayakers to get to them. Oh man, I don't know about this. I don't think they got fish in Florida. You know, the target species, the stuff we're really looking for, just hasn't been happening so far. But, uh, it's, you know, like I said it was a beautiful paddle in a really, really nice area. But getting a, a little frustrated with the, uh, the fishing so far, but uh, the trip has been wonderful, you know. The third fish I caught, beast. it was like this big, but it was bigger than what Jim caught today. <laughs> <laughs> After long days of paddling and no tarpon, Greg decides it's time for a change of pace. One of the great things about kayak fishing is, uh, especially here in Florida, is if you can't do what you planned on doing, there's always a plan B.
got to take fishing as the entire experience. You know, I, I love to catch big fish. I always want to catch fish on a trip, but I also enjoy the whole experience of it. I love paddling my kayak. I love being out there. I mean, we were in a pot of dolphin today that was swimming all around us. There were some juveniles with them. Uh, I saw a sea turtle today, some, uh, some big rays. We saw a shark swim by. I saw a tarpon, so we're getting one step closer. This sport is, is a perfect fit for Florida, and, and I think Florida finally discovered it, really, in the last four or five years, and it's just exploded. Uh, the local community here in Mount Lachey, it's such a, a, just a perfect environment for kayak fishing, so you'll see a lot of kayaks out, a lot of kayak fishermen. Originally from Georgia, Greg moved to Florida over a decade ago for its incredible shallow water fishing. An FFF certified fly casting instructor, Greg is one of the pioneers of fly fishing from a kayak and has made teaching his art part of his guide service. As soon as I saw that sit on top with the fishing rod, you know, fishing rod holders and all that, I was I had to have it, and um, really haven't, you know, haven't really turned back since. Uh, just just perfect sport for me. I worked for UPS for many, many years, and uh, like 10 years in Georgia, and I realized that I was spending basically all my money uh, traveling on the weekends and vacations to go to places to fish, uh, and uh, Florida quite a bit, so I decided to move to Florida, and uh, didn't move to Florida to be a guide by any means, but I just wanted to, you know, I want to be able to go fishing when I wanted to go fishing in the salt. Finally, um, a friend of mine really convinced me to start guiding. Uh, which I didn't want to do, uh, especially with fly fishing. I was not interested in that at all um, until I started doing it. And I actually realized I really love, love guiding. It's really fun to give people the experiences that you've had. Well, after a tough week of chasing tarpon up the beaches of southwest Florida and only having a few hookups, um, out of desperation, we came here. We're in the middle of Boca Grande Pass on the, the hilltide where crabs are flushing out of the pass. Behind me is the legendary Tarpon City. It's a mobile fleet of boats that are all fishing for tarpon. Yeah, there's a madhouse in there. Uh, not a good place to bring a kayak, typically. Uh, you gotta worry about boats uh, bumping into you, fish landing on you, bad currents, bad wind, standing waves, and uh, hammerhead sharks. So <laughs> this is not a good place for kayakers in general. But. Uh, this is extreme kayak fishing, and that's why we're here. So uh, I've got a little crab in the water by me. The crabs are coming out really good. And um, I've got a, a little pass crab on my line, and we're drifting out. And uh, I'm going to drift right in the middle of that tarpon city there. And uh, we'll see what happens. We'll try to hook up out here. from uh, where we just were, a uh, big hammerhead came up and just devoured a shark, uh, I mean, it de devoured a tarpon right next to me. Fish on! Fish on! fish. I mean, how fast am I going against the current? 
At least we ain't making any motor noise. I don't think so. Not unless they got a power boat with them. Ah. Oh! Oh! A lot of water movement, a lot of boat traffic, and a lot of big, big jumping fish. Um, also, there's some sharks in the area. So, although uh, it was exciting, um, you know, we're both very, very experienced kayak fishermen, and we took every precaution necessary. Uh, the proper radios, life vests, and of course, again, those support boats were so, so important for that type of fishery. Let's shift gears. Let's, uh, let's shift gears and uh, jump on that airplane and go play in the big waters up in Alaska and get those halibut and salmon. I'm, I'm fired up.